dear students today i would focus some importance on the topic the importance of uh, listening and speaking skills in learning english language before discussing this topic i would describe some features on it then i'll come in detail first thing why and how these two skills of learning language have been neglected till now in our english curriculum second thing why is important to get mastery over these skills today and third is some of the important features of english language and lastly why should we practice these skills in our language learning course so this i will focus then i'll discuss other important things we know today english has established itself as the lingua franca in the world more than 500 million people of the world speak this language either as a native or first language or second language or a foreign language in the countries like the united kingdom the us canada australia south africa and new zealand it is spoken as a first language or native language in countries like india pakistan bangladesh sri lanka nigeria and uh, tanzania it's uh, used as a second language let us say as a second language it's used for various purposes such as official commercial educational and inter personal communication in the countries like china japan russia and germany it's a, a foreign language and they use this language only for international communication but today this language is not either a foreign or like this it has become an international language through which one can get the passport of progress now what happened in india why have not these why have these skills not been given importance in the past and even today i will go back to the past history when this language was started in 9, 1835 when lord macaulay recommended that english should be made the language of india and following those recommendations the teaching of english was started 
and importance was given only the two skills those were reading and writing because they needed only some indians who could be proficient in these skills only that is why the syllabus were prepared to teach elementary knowledge of english following that recommendation we found that english was made the medium of instruction for high school level and higher education again when we got independence there were little changes in the pattern of uh, english teaching again we failed to give importance to these two skills that is the listening and speaking skills what happened we followed our own principles that english should not be given important now as india has become an independent country and our policy makers they plan give they made the policies that vernacular languages should be the medium of instruction in the schools and colleges and english was taught only for restricted purposes only in english class english was taught what happened we found that at present our students who are master degree holders or graduates they are unable to talk or converse english comfortably if they speak english their english is unintelligible for the native speakers as well as the foreigners now we realize that we have uh, been little bit in our fault importance should be given while teaching this language on all the four skills then only a balanced learning can be achieved now with the advancement of science and technology as well as the communication and information technology the world has become a global city now our country like india is a vast country we export our skilled human resources in the form of technocrats engineers and doctors to the developed and developing countries and now we feel that our skilled persons must be master over their professional literature as well as english language both in spoken as well as written form so we feel that we have to be master now in those skills now before i speak something some tips how will get mastery over these two skills and why is it necessary to get competence in these two skills we have to know some of the distinct features of english language first is english has 26 letters but they re represent 44 sounds that is in received pronunciation and for the purpose we should be mass be the our learners should be 
the master of all these things. For instance, just I give an example, they the sound like E. This sound stands for many sounds. Like I say a word entertain. The same sound has the same letter has two sounds. Other important thing is like certain other uh, like uh, the these two letters, the sequence of these two letters stands different sounds in different words. Like the same can be pronounced in church where chemistry and we have machine. On the other hand, we can get more examples like that unless we practice these skills, unless we learn all these two skills, we learn speaking and listening and speaking with effort, we cannot get mastery over this. Other important thing are important features of uh, English language is uh, that is will complete yeah yes other important thing is that is related to orthography or orthopy here i will talk about these things That is, the same word will be pronounced in different way in different context. Unless we listen carefully, unless we practice carefully, we cannot learn them. Here is the example of this. I have given two examples. This is the word is absent. When it is pronounced as noun, it is pronounced as absent. We put a stress over here, the pronunciation is absent. But when it is verb, the same word becomes absent. So we have two distinct pronunciation, but the orthography is the same. This is we have to practice. Our learners. As learners, we have to practice this, then we will know the 
distinct features of English language. Then we have another new feature like that is stress system, stress pattern. In English language, stress pattern or accentual pattern is very important. Even we have a word with more than one syllable, one syllable stands out from others. So when we pronounce that word we have to put stress on a particular syllable then we'll come to know the beauty of this english language for instance just i give an example This disyllabic word has different pronunciation when it is a noun, we pronounce it notice. When it is verb, we pronounce it notice. So this is the nuance that English language has. But we, the students of uh, English uh, mother tongue, we students when we speak Hindi, this is not our there. So, other important thing of uh, English language is that that is very important and that is rhythm system. English has a rhythm, particular rhythm that is, uh, I just uh, give an example of a rhythm and uh, that is like this. Here we have she wants to play in the park. She wants to play in the park. Here the word these wants play and park they are content words and they are stressed. On the other hand she to in the these are not stressed these are unstressed so when we speak this sentence unstressed words this to in the and she they are crowded together with the stress sound and so the rhythm is rhythm is created when we speak as uh, when we speak that rhythm is not there so when if you want to make our english intelligible to the foreign speakers or the native speakers or the foreign listeners we must make our english like that then only they can understand or we can understand their English only when we know these, these kind of nuances. That is why we realize, our policy makers realize that equal importance in four skills, reading, writing, listening and speaking should be given in when we teach or when we learn language and this particularly English language because we have to make effort, our learners have to make effort to learn this language. Just example, I give an example, when our learners are taught to write correct English, 
to read correct english similarly they must be taught to listen correct english and to speak correct english to master to be mastering listening and to be mastering correct pronunciation then only we can become a master or we can achieve competence in english language so this i have mentioned some of the features there are many more features are there that ultimately that uh, in concluding my lecture i would like to suggest my learners my students when you learn english language learn all these two skills consciously practice is regularly when you learn english language then only you can become a master of language otherwise your knowledge of english will be half learned and when you done every in anything half 